go in fear. She got saved and goes to church. No, she doesn't go to church because she's paralyzed from her, from her waist down. How many of you could put yourself in a situation like that and, and believe and know that you and yourself can do nothing? but are absolutely convinced that God can do anything. And you, and you thrust yourself into a situation to where you know without the help of God you're going to make yourself out to be a fool. Well, the Bible says fools for Jesus uh, are pretty up high up in the ladder. And we never know whether there's enough money for rent, enough money to, to, to keep feeding the seniors, that's another senior. Just keep on flipping, okay? As quick as you can. My time's almost gone. Um, we can go to the next one, is children. That's a senior's home that Irene built as a respite for, for the seniors. The next one. Oh, the next one. This is how, this is how, uh, maybe five to ten percent of the Ukrainian children live in basements in sewers, and they're laying on feeding pipes, sniffing glue. Situations at home are so bad, and there's so much alcoholism, and parents. Uh, fight their children, and many have died because they didn't figure that their kids brought enough money in to buy more drugs. And so the kids ran away onto the street because it was safer on the street than it was in their own home. Go home to your kids today and ask them, would you sit live on the street or live at home? Well, I wonder what they say. I think they, they say, I like it. We we all provide food and groceries and uh, everything. Else. Why? I'm not a fool. Imagine I've met five-year-olds who made a, a, a decision to 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 go onto the street because it was safer on the street than it was at home. Think of a, a five-year-old child, and there's hundreds of thousands of them. If my time is gone, I'll finish when I come back. Best we can come. If I can. give you an open invitation to come. Only powerful report. You can be a part of it.